Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I have an AT&T hack for your iPhone 5 that promises faster download speeds thanks to a new carrier update. Now instead of searching for a preferred type of tower, with this carrier update your iPhone 5 will search for the strongest tower both on 4G and LTE. So you can see some of my stats about 3 download and about 0.45 upload. The stats will depend on where you live and mine aren't that good from the get go. First, plug your iPhone 5 into iTunes and back up the device so you don't lose anything just in case something would go wrong. Now once your device has been backed up, you want to go ahead and download the hacked care update. I will have all the links in the description below so you can just go ahead and copy that and download that onto your computer. Now once downloaded, you want to go ahead and enable iTunes to accept custom care bundles if it's not already. So if you're on Windows, you want to open up a command prompt, and if you're on Mac, you want to open up Terminal, and then paste in the code. I will have that in the description below. And then once you are done, go back into iTunes and select the Alt Option key and hit Restore. If you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows, hit the Shift and select your new carrier update. Hit Open, and then you should be good to go. Then you want to head back over to your device and restart it. So whether you turn it off or turn it back on, or hold the top and the bottom buttons for 10 seconds and then let go when the Apple logo comes up, the process will work the same. And bear in mind this process will work on jailbroken devices and non-jailbroken devices. So after you do that, you might have to head back into your general and just restart all your network settings just in case. So just go into your settings there, hit off, and then turn it back on just so everything has been rebooted. So as you can see here during the speed test, I will get about 3.5 of my download and a little bit over 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of my upload. And these speeds aren't a major increase, but it all depends on where you live, whether you're in a 4G or an LTE. If you are in a more populated city, you will get some more significant increases using this tutorial. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next one.